Entire alien family, an alien ET family on Earth in Nazca, Peru. The DNA test suggests that they are not from Earth. Scientists have discovered a family of six alien bodies buried beneath Nazca, Peru, and the DNA suggests that they are not belonging to Earth. The DNA has been tested and found not belonging to Earth. Back in June of 2017, researchers publicly announced that a new mummy had been unearthed in Nazca that showed signs of it belonging to an unknown species. According to Professor Konstantin Korotkov of St. Petersburg University in Russia, the body belonged to another creature, another humanoid. Three months later, new footage and information has emerged showing the discovery of new mummified bodies, all with similar characteristics to the first. Collective Evolution reports, they are humanoid and have three fingers and three toes on each hand and a distinctively different shape of skull compared to modern day humans, as well as those who roamed the earth before we did. Multiple scientists have been involved with this project up to this point, as you see in the video below. I'll leave a link below for you for this article. One of them is Dr. Konstantin Korotkov, a professor of computer science and biophysics at St. Petersburg Federal University of Informational Technologies, Mechanics and Optics. He said, quote, We have a very important mission here in Peru. I came here because of this group of scientists, professionals and journalists, end quote. When they brought out the body and pulled it out of the box, it was a stunned silence at first. Author Graham Hancock describes his experience in one of his books, Fingerprints of the Gods. Quote, Below us now, there's a pair of parallel lines, almost two miles long, arrows straight all the way to vanishing point, and there, off to the right, a series of abstract shapes on a scale so vast and yet so precisely executed that it seems inconceivable they could have been the work of men. The people around here say that they were not the work of men, but of demigods, the Viracochas, who also left their fingerprints elsewhere in the Andean region many thousands of years ago, he says. So far, it seems that, quote, initial examination suggests the possibility of a species unlike anything found in the fossil record, end quote. Early DNA results of the mummy named Maria show that she is a female and that the other bodies found alongside her, which look to be a spouse and a couple of children, are also real biological bodies. Some of their organs are actually still intact. Further testing was done on one of the strangest aspects of these bodies, their fingers and their toes, and has shown that these parts are not fake, ruling out any possibility of a hoax. They're the same material, the same chemical composition, and the same DNA. The samples taken from Maria's fingers match the date of her body, which is approximately 249 to 411 AD. Carbon dating and an analysis of the structure of the body via CT scan and X-ray proved it was real. Dr. Konstantin Korotkov claims, from the first DNA analysis, it was proven it's not chimpanzee, it's not monkey, but it's human-like DNA. It was proven because we know that now we have three types of humans like creatures. It is Neanderthals, cro magdon like ourselves, and Denisovan. Now, at next level, they have to make much more detailed analysis and much more complicated analysis, so they will create a library of genes, and then they will be able to compare it with database of human subjects. Then we'll see whether it is exactly human-like or it is a little bit different." Quote. This is what Dr. Konstantin Korotkov states. 
the team is currently still waiting for a more detailed DNA analysis, which can take some time. What's interesting about the mummy is that all the internal organs have remained intact. The heart, the stomach, parts of the brain are available for examination. Quote, it's clear that she has the same type of internal organs as we do, end quote. When it comes to the CT scans, quote, we are scientifically proving that this body is a real body that was once alive. For example, here we have the teeth from the upper arch, and there are the ones from the lower arch, the skull with the remains of brain mass. This part here shows the lungs at the side. This is the heart with the bronchus and the great vessel lungs at both sides. This is still the heart, and there are the four cavities and the bronchi that are preserved." End quote. They also show the intestines, the abdomen, and that the placement of the internal organs is completely harmonious. New bodies and the family. In the video below, investigative journalist Jamie Mauson reveals that more bodies have since been discovered, two adults and one youth. He says they are very, very similar. Currently, they are testing the other bodies and if they prove to be real like the other bodies, that will total six real bodies whoever or whatever they are. The preservation is amazing. In the video, they show a scan of one of the little mummies whose bone density reveals the makeup of an actual living being. Quote, we can scientifically prove that the skull of these creatures has a cranial cavity, cavity similar to humans, but they have some strong differences. The team has since worked with animators to simulate how these creatures would have gotten around as shown in the video below. Human-like DNA. What does that even mean? What does human-like DNA really mean? After all, humans share 50% of their DNA with a banana, approximately 80% with dogs, and 99% with chimpanzees. In reality, our genome differs in many ways, but the numbers seem to imply something else. The point I'm trying to make is, with regard to my research into the extraterrestrial phenomenon, the common factor is humanoid. With all of this information most likely locked up in the Black Budget Special Access Programs, SAPs, who know what type of science and discoveries remain classified, what if the common denominator when it comes to extraterrestrials is a DNA match that is extremely close? What would that say about life in general? I don't believe human DNA, quote unquote, is limited to our planet alone. English scientist Frank Crick, Francis Crick, most noted for the co-discovering the structure of DNA molecule 1953, alongside James D. Watson, wrote in his book Life Itself that there is no possible way that the DNA molecule could have gotten its start here on Earth and that it had to have come from somewhere else. He theorizes, it now seems unlikely that extraterrestrial living organisms could have reached the Earth either as spores driven by the radiation pressure from another star or as living organisms embedded on, in a meteorite. As an alternative to these 19th century mechanisms, we have considered direct panspermia, the theory that organisms were deliberately transmitted to the Earth by intelligent beings uh, from another planet. We conclude that it is possible that life reached the Earth in this way, but that the scientific evidence is inadequate at the present time to say anything about that probability. We draw attention to the kinds of evidence that might throw additional light on the topic. He is one of the many researchers in the field who believes this. Definitely interesting to think about. This is by Sean Adeltabit Dubai on your Newswire. Thank you.